What's going on guys? Welcome back to Call of Duty World War 2 on Black Tide TV. Today is February 23rd, 2018 and there has been a massive playlist update for Call of Duty World War 2 that has more or less touched every single weapon in the multiplayer. Now that being said, there are some weapons that were specifically targeted, but for the most part we've seen ADS transition times, ADS from sprint and sprint out times completely adjusted. This is something that players have been asking for from the beginning of the game. Basically, this is aiming down sights, how fast you aim down sights, how fast you aim down sights after you sprint, and being able to go from aiming down sights to sprinting the speed that it takes. In Call of Duty World War II, that speed was slowed down drastically from previous Call of Duty games, and it looks like they have buffed almost all of the ADS times in the game to make them a little bit better. You've got your SMGs, the base ADS times and ADS in from sprint have been buffed so that they're going to be faster. Rifles have been buffed as well, but they are still slightly behind the SMGs. And then again, LMGs had that buff as well, but they're slightly behind the rifles. So now everything is tiered. SMGs will be the fastest and then assault rifles and then LMGs. While many weapons were subject to the ADS transition time buff, two weapons in particular were subject to an ADS transition time nerf, and those two weapons would be the Car 98 k and M1903 Springfield Sniper Rifles, respectively. Both of these weapons will now aim down sights slightly slower than they had before, essentially a quickscoping nerf. The Car 98 k famously was recently nerfed to have the same ADS transition time as the M1903 Sniper Rifle, However, with this recent nerf, I did some hand testing and I can't seem to notice that great of a difference. So if you have been used to using the M1903 from the beginning of the game, you likely won't notice that big of a difference here. But again, the sniper rifles are just being picked on in this game for whatever reason. But on to some more specific changes. First up, we've got the MP40. Buff the recoil in an effort to have a more competitive SMG on par with the PPSH-41. I don't know why they can't just nerf the PPSH-41, making all of the SMGs more competitive with it, but instead, they've buffed the recoil of the MP40. Now, that is a very slight buff. Again, with hand testing, I have very, very little difference. I'm picking up on very little difference, so MP40, I guess you can try to use it over the PPSH, but the PPSH is still the best gun in the game outside of the Volkssturmgefähr. The FG-42... Nerf fire rate so that the damage output is more in line with other weapons in its class. This is the third or fourth time they've touched up the FG-42. They are now nerfing the fire rate again. Though again, this difference isn't that great. I didn't notice the difference as much this time around. It's not like the first time they nerfed the FG-42 where they turned it into some kind of garbage weapon. So it is still very usable. SVT-40 buff recoil in an effort to make it more manageable to shoot down range and give a better contrast to the M1 Garand. The recoil buff is manageable and you do notice it, however the weapon is still very 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 underpowered compared to other weapons in its class and other weapons in the game in general. They've also nerfed the hipfire spread for the SVT-40 to match the M1 Garands in an effort to decrease the ability to quickly kill opponents at closer ranges, which if we're being honest, the SVT-40, you're likely not going to be hip firing and killing a lot of people at close range to begin with. So that one didn't make sense to me. The M1A1 has buffed fire rate in an effort to make it more competitive choice amongst the other rifles. It is a noticeable difference. You no longer need to run rapid fire on the M1A1, especially in hardcore game modes. The Gefer 43, a DLC weapon was touched up, Buff the fire rate, this weapon now fires incredibly fast. You can't even keep up with your trigger finger, so rapid fire is absolutely unnecessary on the Gefer 43. It also has buffed recoil, which is a lot nicer to control, very much more manageable now. And they buffed the clip size to be 12 instead of 10, giving you more ammo in the long run, which is very nice, because with that weapon I always found myself running out of ammo very, very quickly, though I would still recommend that you use extended mags. And now we're on to my favorite change of this entire patch, the M30 Luftwaffe drilling, which you've been seeing in the gameplay, this weapon is actually usable now. In fact, I like it a lot. I might like it more than the combat shotgun. The combat shotgun is still a better go-to weapon for consistency, whereas this weapon is more of a tactical choice because they've changed the toggle action and M30 drilling's ADS properties. 
If you did not know, when aiming down sights with the toggle action prior to this patch, all of the pellets that you would normally have in a spread would constrict into a single into a single shot, make, basically making a slug, which didn't make much sense for the toggle action, and so they've changed that slug property. It now belongs to the M30 drilling. So when you aim down sights, all of the pellet spread will cons constrict itself into a single shot, and you can laze people at an incredible distance. One shot kills, especially if you are aiming down sights. They have buffed the damage per pellet to be on par with the recent sawed off shotgun changes so that the shotgun has now a more automatic two shot kill and a slightly more forgiving one shot kill. You will notice a lot more one shot kills with this weapon now, regardless of if you are aiming down sights or not. Buff shotgun damage range, so that's more feasible to finish off an opponent who didn't die from a rifle bullet, so it does have incredibly long range in terms of getting one and two shot kills and last but not least they buff the ads spread and that's what i was talking about just now how they constrict all the pellets into a single slug when you were aiming down sights the toggle action on the other hand also had a buff while they spread out the shots from when you were aiming down sights which is fine because the toggle action never needed that in the first place they've increased the clip size of the toggle action to eight shots per clip and then with extended mags you will now have 12. so those are all the changes I don't think you would ever hear me say this before today, but seriously try out the M30 Luftwaffe drilling. It is my favorite shotgun in the game as of now. The combat shotgun is still a better choice overall for consistency sake, but the M30 drilling is so much fun to use. It's such a tactical option. If you have the skill to basically quick scope players in close range gunfights, you will have a blast with this weapon, run hustle, and just go out there and get the job done. You don't even necessarily need advanced rifling, but I would recommend that as well. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video.